Hello friends, Dan from On One here. Today I'm excited to show you some improvements to the curves filter and effects. These are oft asked for requests from users just like you. Let me show you the improvements we've made. Here we are inside of effects. I've added just a curves filter. You'll notice right off the bat that it looks a little bit different. You'll notice how there's now a histogram underneath the curve to help you understand the shape of the data within your photo. It makes it easier for setting your white and black points if you're using the curve to do that. There's also a gradient in the background that helps you understand when you move the curve what it's going to do. If you pull up on the curve, it will make it lighter. If you, if you pull down on the curve, it will make it darker. And the grid in the background has been updated to be more precise as well. The handles on the curve are larger and the lines are stronger. So it's a little easier to look at. All of that's cosmetic. Let's dig in and show you what the big improvements are. My favorite is the new dropper tool. By selecting the dropper tool and clicking in your photo, you can set a control point on the curve and adjust it. Let's say I want to darken the shadows to increase the contrast in this photo. I simply click on a shadow tone. You notice how a point is added on my curve automatically and my cursor changes to an up and down arrow. Now all I have to do is move my cursor up or down to move that point up or down. Let's do the same thing with the highlights and brighten those a little bit. I'll just grab the dropper tool again. Click in my highlights, you'll see how it adds a point, and now I can just drag up to brighten the highlights. It's a very quick tactile way to work with the curves. Let me show you some of the other refinements. Now when you add a curve, obviously I can move it around. If I make a mistake and I don't want that curve anymore, I can right click on the curve and select remove control point. I can also select a control point and use the in-out fields at the bottom to set the input and output values. I can simply select it and type in, or I can use my arrow keys to nudge the values up and down. And these improvements are on all of the color channels as well. So you notice if I go to the red color channel, it actually shows how adjusting the curve is going to affect the photo. Grabbing the middle and pulling up is going to make it more red. Pulling down will make it more green. And if I want to reset a color channel, I've made a mistake, I can simply right click and select reset channel. There you go. I hope you guys love these new improvements to the curves filter. Thanks for watching.